You know, I have never had boba. I've said this before. I always thought the bobas were like blueberries. I can't build anything. We'll just go again. I like those little boba things. I thought they were just blueberries the first time. And I was like, why are you just getting tea with blueberries in it? Can't you just make that yourself? What's so special about that? Tapioca pearls. Tapioca sounds like a dance. Hey, let's do the tapioca. It's pretty mid. It definitely seems like... Just a... Overrated. Or giving bad food opinions again. I'm just saying I thought boba stuff was a freaking blueberry. Everyone's always talking about, oh, I need my 27 cups of boba a day. And I'm like, yo, you need a financial advisor. That's what you need. Tried making tapioca purrs yourself and fit up real bad. Don't let that discourage you. Try again, damn it. You would kill someone for boba. You! would murder another human being another human being who may have a family and loved ones all over the world because you don't want to buy a three dollar and 75 cent drink you see this is what's wrong with society people say they would literally end another human's life in minecraft uh for such a small thing in life like, if you said you would murder somebody for, like, a billion dollars, I'd be like, okay, I can understand that. We could probably find some bum or something. But, like, oh, I'd kill someone for a $5 drink. Okay, you're pushing the lines here a little bit. You're pushing the lines. No, you wouldn't. You would be a normal human in society and pay for the drink. Hopefully. Humans have murdered for less. Dude, I was reading this morning... I read this morning, someone in Vancouver asked someone to stop vaping near their three-year-old toddler. You know what happened? The person vaping stabbed them to death. Because he asked her, he asked them to stop vaping in front of his daughter. His toddler, like, what? You're telling me someone asked you to stop vaping and you decided to ruin your life, you piece of shit monster. And a whole other set of people's lives because someone asked you to stop vaping your little funny juice? Like, what? You murdered a man in broad daylight at a Starbucks in front of his family for such a minuscule task, a minuscule request. How unhinged do you have to be to do that? Like, that is not a person I want in society. It was just a matter of time before they kill someone. This happened where? In Vancouver, British Columbia, which is the west coast of Canada. It's absolutely ridiculous. Which makes me realize, for such minuscule tasks these days, I feel like I don't want to, you know, talk to people. Hey, Tatsu Bear. I'm talking about how stupid people are. Like, you don't know how unhinged some of these fucking people, these fucking lunatics are. There's so many. There's 8 billion people on the world, and there's like 0.000000000000, like a billion zeros, 1% of the people in the world in this Twitch chat. And I like to think all of you people are good, but let's be honest. A lot of people on Earth are fucking psychos. Like, some people, I feel you can get a general idea of how they are after some interactions. You know, it's like a, hey, how you doing? Like a, hey, how you doing can give you an interaction of how someone is as a person. Um, but just walking up to somebody and asking them to stop vaping, I will say it's a pretty normal request, I feel. I wouldn't want someone vaping near my daughter if I had one. Your roommate's got death threats from his Tate fanboy co-worker for disagreeing with him about Andrew Tate. If you cannot have a civil conversation with someone and have disagreements in that conversation without resorting to threatening with murder, 
I think you should probably be locked up in a loony bin. Maybe you'll disagree, but if you're saying shit like that, you should be, you should be kind of thrown in jail, you know? I don't think that... We live in a society. Like, I'll be honest, people that talk like that, I got no problem locking them up. I Just get them out of here, dude. Get these psychos out of here. It's like, or make them, just get them out. Lee, oh God, I don't want, I don't want to be near these people. They're fucking crazy. You got threatened with a gun when I told someone to put a mask on in your store during COVID. Hey, sir, can you put a mask on store policy? There's a pandemic going on. I might as well shoot you in the fucking face for you threatening my freedoms as an American citizen to not wear a mask. I'm a, I am exercising my freedom of speech here, sir. I will pull out my coat and my pistol. I will shoot you in the face if you ask me to wear a goddamn mask in this goddamn store. like now if you're someone like that also you should be thrown in a loony bin <laughs> because that, that, that's no way to talk to a human like i feel like it's pretty easy to have a pretty normal conversation with people like yesterday i was in popeyes because i was so tired from the day i was like i'm just gonna get dinner and someone told me hey nice hat and they were wearing a Boston Bruins hat. And I was like, hey, nice hat to you as well. I'm liking this Bruins season. Hopefully, I was hoping they wouldn't talk to me about hockey because I just know their record. I wasn't paying attention all season. Like, I'm too busy for that. And then some other guy chipped in and was like, oh, the NHL's filled with pussies. And I'm like, okay, dude, you look like I don't want to talk to you. Like, you ever just see someone the way... This may sound mean, but I feel the way people present themselves in public... Uh, is a good indication as well as if you want to interact with them. Like, if you feel like there's no effort into their appearance at times, it's like, okay. No offense, but I'm gonna avoid talking to you. I'm gonna avoid it. Working in retail, you've seen all crazy people. Just walking inside of a Walmart makes me depressed. Oh, uh, we got high attack speed, high counter. Maybe I should get some evasion. Like all of you in here, I feel like you probably put in some effort with your appearance. Maybe that's why people don't interact with you. Uh, I don't, I will disagree with that. I feel some people just don't put in any effort. I don't know. My point, if you get so upset over such a minuscule task in the world that people ask you to do, and those tasks just make you a better person by doing them, if your if you're retaliation to that request because you don't like it is murder... You know, I think maybe you should just get the death penalty. I, you failed as a human. You failed as a human. Not even just sweatpants and joggers, you know. I, I, it goes way beyond just sweatpants and joggers. When I go out, people are like drawn to talk to me and you don't like it. Eh, people like talking. You constantly have to avoid men that look suspicious. Pfft. I even avoid men that look suspicious. I ain't found a fuck. Listen, I, I avoid anyone that looks suspicious because I ain't trying to fuck around with that. If I was a female, oh my god, my life would be so much worse. You poor girls. How do you survive in this world with dudes? With such lunatics running around. How do you survive? Sounds horrible. All these crazy people. Like, how do you not walk around with pepper spray? I never make eye contact. I've been told you're suspicious because of that. Like, no, I just don't want to look at you. I'll make eye contact with someone. Like, if I'm talking with someone, I'll make the occasional eye contact. If I accidentally make eye contact with someone that looks like a normal human, I'll be like, hey, how you doing? 
and the normal response to hey how there's two responses to hey how you doing if you make eye contact this is because this is just general human kindness i feel there's two things you could say fine or good and fine means you're doing shit nobody wants to hey how you doing oh dude i'm doing horrible it's like oh geez just say you're doing fine i don't need to hear your problems That's why I talk, walk on my tippy toes, hunched over, and saying really softly, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> it's picturing Shark doing that. I'm gonna get you. Why do people have to make eye contact with you? You like, shut up. I mean, sometimes you just accidentally make eye contact with another human. Like, it's not on purpose. Sometimes you just both happen to look at each other and it's just like, oh, this is weird. You looked at me and I looked at you like, oh God, what, what's, what happens next? Hey, yo, what happens next? Uh, so next we take our pants off. Oh. Oh. Next we get... You know what though? The, 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 do I feel like this is probably still on YouTube? But remember when everyone was doing prank videos on YouTube, and sometimes you just see the video, the the quote unquote prank videos, kissing girls prank videos, so like these random skinny fuck boys that have never worked a day in their life walk up to attractive girls on like beaches and they're like, "Hey man, if I if I can solve a Rubik's cube in like ten seconds, we get to kiss. If I don't, like nothing happens. It's just like, oh bad." I'm a paid actor. God, what? They're... Don't look up prank videos on YouTube. They're pretty horrible. You met one of those people once because they walk up to me in a mall food court. A mall... They walked up to you and they're like, Hey, hey yo, babe, we're making a TikTok here. Let's... Apparently, you can sexually harass women if you put it on YouTube and uh, highlight it as a prank. Apparently, that's legal. All you have to say is it's a prank, bro, and then all charges are out the window. <laughs> Only if they're getting clout. That's all people care about is clout. You know, I was feeling pretty confident, then I fought four fucking spiders. And I'll be honest, my confidence kind of went out the window. They weren't filming, but they were practicing to film. I'll never have... You know, there's some content creators out there I will never respect. And those type of content creators... Yeah, if it makes you a bunch of money, good for you, but you never got my respect. But you don't give a fuck about my respect because you don't even know who I am. Yeah, Twitch chat, it's the same way. Twitch chat's like, hey, yo, Kappa. Dude, have you seen... Uh, every time I open up Twitter, I swear there's like a female content creator posting some random creepy thing a guy says in Twitch chat. It's like... Oh my god, girl, you're so beautiful. Like, I would fuck you. It's just like, what? Like, what? Who? Cat's so shocked she dropped something. How? Like, how do... I don't understand how people, like, don't think before they say something. Like, how do people go on the internet and say that and think there's gonna be no repercussions? Well, there isn't any, like, legal repercussions saying the weird shit like that. Hers leaking our messages. Oh my god. If I do a defense build here, I can get dominant mass. I was super thirsting over Pedro Pascal. That's different. I didn't say it to his face. Maybe I uh, maybe I did if he was watching, but I didn't say it to his face. 
Thurston over Pedro Pascal is a natural occurrence in life, okay? It'd be weird if you didn't do it. Making them clips with cringy chat. A hot tub meta? I don't... Listen, I don't give a shit if people stream in a hot tub, but if you want those type of viewers, I mean... Horny people make the worst decisions, so I mean, it's, I guess it's one way to do it. Why do you think game nerds still suck? <laughs> Where a female streamer was asked, Hey, can I be your boyfriend as their first message in chat? Hey, I don't know who you are. We know nothing about each other, but can we have a committed relationship together? Why was their hot tub meta even a thing? Like there are naked streams for these people? Because it's on Twitch and it's technically not against TOS. And it made Twitch a bunch of money. I'm just saying, dude, the, this this world that we live in. Should I get the hell out of here, maybe? Maybe unlock the next class and get out of here. A quick little run. You know? Because I have no life regen right now. But I do have a lot of counter. The mic ASMR is creepy. Oh, you mean the people that are giving oral to their microphones? I think that meta's passed a little bit. I, I don't know. I haven't really checked. I, I mean, I don't think it's on Twitch as much anymore because there's this thing called kick where you can do it without being judged as harshly. Why do it on Twitch and catch a band when you could do it on Kick and get paid a 95 split on subs? On sub revenue. You guys, if you want to give me a 90% split on subs, just go sub to the Patreon. I haven't given anything new to the Patreon in a while, but trust me, I get 90% of it. I meant like you were joking about going to commit slip and slide. Slip and slide. What do you even mean? Fun, I don't want to know what your weird kinks are. Do we keep it going with what we have? Don't want to lose that evasion. If you're moving, I would help you by giving you more on Patreon or the higher tier, just saying. I mean, on Twitch, to be fair, to be fair, on Twitch, a tier three does give me 70%. I will say that the, the cuts with tier threes are kind of nice. 70% on those tier threes, those are huge. Tier threes are the reason I'm still a full-time streamer. You want to get the heck out of here? I don't. I love life. I think the world is great. The world is beautiful. Life is an amazing thing. It's just the people that you have to deal with are pretty insufferable at times. All right, let's plan our next move. Yeah, hear that tier one, tier two is unsub. Go sub the Patreon. No, don't unsub. Tier two is giving me sixty percent, so that's still pretty good if you ask me. Sixty percent is still quite impressive. Tier 2 is 60 40, tier 3 70 30, tier 1 is 50 50. Uh, and that only applies to partners. Affiliates are 50 50 all across the board. Go sub the Burgle instead. I want tier 2 to Burgle. I think I might be screwed. I could just leave with all of this. 
but I'm not getting enough wood to build the next thing for a new character. Sub reasoned. Purple might be love. Let's retreat and see if we, uh, how many resources we get. Not enough to build anything, which is unfortunate. I could upgrade the farm if I wanted to. I'm missing one for the smelter. Unlocks the Arsenal Golden Card if the Intel Center is built. I don't even see the Intel Center. Burgle Banana. The bonus of a new farm? Is the bonus just all the stuff at the bottom? Unlocks the ability to craft food if the supply depot is built. Supply depot is not built. I have nothing built. Oh, the side depot's right here. I can almost build that. Uh, unlocks the wheat fields card. I already have the wheat field. Oh, well, we have two farms now. My, uh, my chance to build the refuge is now leading. I'm trying to get the refuge. I'm trying. I need to get these goddamn pieces of wood. They won't show up, though. I have to keep just going out with the goddamn... Uh... What do I need for those pieces of wood to start spawning more? I'm gonna get rid of the spiders because they kind of screw me the most and I'm gonna put on the cemetery again. I feel like the meadow gets me wood if I throw it next to the treasury. Ah, oh, we'll just start it up again. We'll just start it up again. See how we do. Oh, yeah. There we go. Momo says, Burgle W. Cemetery, meadow, meadow. Let's, shit, let's throw a cemetery down. Throw a grove down as well. Started off nice and early. Another grove. What's this do? Uh, oh, oh. Uh, sure. Get a little extra pure damage in there. Why not? I guess we'll build a mountain over here. Twelve pieces of stick form a beam of stable wood. that 11 to 17 four percent attack speed early on this way okay 
seems like you're not sub to Burgo. Don't know why. I mean, that's probably better. You really want to be sub to Burgo of all people? What's up, Gamer Pro? Oh, that forms a whole food supply. What the hell gets me the goddamn stable branches then? Grove, maybe? No, not a grove. Oh, let's get some regen early on. Ergo's a toxic Overwatch streamer. He ain't toxic. Because he's GM doesn't mean he's toxic. of those form an orb of unity i need to figure out how to get some damn sticks definitely not better than everybody else because some people play overwatch all day every day don't know how they do that i will say that don't know how they do that but they do Dog keeps looking at you. Why? You doing something funny? Uh, we'll throw a vampire down, sure. I've made this beginning path a little bit rough early on, I'll say. Uh, sure. We'll throw this on. You're just eating? Well, that's why he's looking at you. He wants the damn food. Well, that solves the mystery of the curious dog. Congratulations, everybody. Let's drink. We have 18% evasion. Or 16% evasion, pardon me. 7 to 11, that's honestly not better. Look at all these damn meadows. Guess I'll throw some behind this tree. So I'll ask this for people that play the game. Do you gotta just throw down your cards ASAP like the rocks and the meadows? Uh, 11% evasion. We lose some attack, but we get attack speed. Evasion goes up in the 20s? Sure, 27% evasion already. Rocks, you put one side all together. That does get you a lot of health. Meadows, I try to wait for treasuries, but they never seem to frickin' spawn for me. I'm gonna try to build with evasion this time. Uh, we'll see if it actually works. Maybe evasion and regen. Like I did the one time I- the time I beat the first boss. about mountains you can only build one mountain so 
mountains and rocks you guys throw together. A mountain card? Well, the mountain card, I think, uh, just gives you more HP next to rocks, right? Isn't the mountain card just like an upgraded rock card? I have an upgrade. Every counter heals the hero. Ugh. Uh, wish I could re-roll these fucking things. I don't have any counter right now, but I'll do the buckler just because. Just because it could be good. If I can get somersault with it, that would be pretty good. hate these damn vampires spawning all these damn bats. There's a treasury. Oh, I got an achievement called Card Shop. Place a thousand cards. Well, I mean, that was, that was gonna come eventually. <laughs> that was gonna come eventually. That achievement. Uh, evasions up by two. We lose half the regen. Lose a little bit of max HP. I'll take it for the evasion, I guess. That one gives me 16% evasion. I don't want to lose that. I'm really hoping I get the one that gives you a counter when you evade an attack. Because uh, then, I, if, if I can get that, that'd be in, that'd be incredible. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, the schedule is going to be the start time of like 11 a.m. Guaranteed I'll be starting at 11 a.m. still. Um, end time, I'm not sure yet. But I might do some night streams if I feel like I didn't stream enough in the... Uh, if, I, if I feel like I didn't stream enough in the morning, I might do some night stuff. But uh, schedule will still be 11 a.m. Uh, for now. I'm going to try to stream every day until Edmonton as well. My first visit to Edmonton. Thanks for lurking. Good luck at work. But there goes my vampirism, so that's kind of... Uh... Bartender refill. What's that achievement? Drink 50 potions. I mean, that's just a matter of time before that one happened. I mean, I don't want to get rid of my damn, uh... Mm-hmm. Almost back to our camp. And then we still have to go through it all again. Oh my god, we might die here, man. Oh my god, dude, this is brutal, dude. This is brutal. 
This is Bruno. I mean, I need some damage. Meadow. Another village will be good. We'll throw some wheat down. is very disappointing for a level six <laughs> that's a very disappointed ring four pure damage and eight defense i'd rather have 16 percent evade are you kidding me i don't want that i mean it's just more damage might as well this one pure damage again god these rings are disappointing how did a vampire get here uh i don't think i want to throw anything else down this is going to be rough. At least it's one enemy at a time. That gives me a much better chance of winning. Max HP is up. We lose our regen, though. Don't really want to lose the regen. Let's just continue stacking these mountains. I'm almost close to another upgrade. We'll have to survive this, though. Holy shit. My evasion's up to 40%. So I'll say that is pretty good. We got 40% evasion, but we don't have any potions left. We are almost at a village to heal, but... I'm really close to leveling up. If I can get Somersault, the thing that gives me, like, the counter on evade that could be kind of nice all right actually let's not put that down yet ah Come on. I'll use this to my advantage. I'll use that to my advantage, I guess. Yeah, the, the, the Oblivion card full hand isn't bad, but it's just a shame that I have to use... It's a shame that I have to use one of my goddamn uh, cards on that. And right, let's start building up another meadow.
Keep the rocks coming. Meadow. I'll throw another village down here, I guess. Another rock. Uh, throw that there. And we'll throw another one right up there. Sorry, I, uh, I I get I get into this game, man. This game gets my this game gets the brain moving for me. Nah. Oh. And we lose our regen though, but evasion goes up to lucky number forty-two. Damage to all 13. Uh, so do you guys have any guesses how much it would cost to ship an entire PC? With like two monitors? Because I've already shipped my entire stream setup before and that cost me like... Eleven hundred dollars. So I imagine shipping a PC by itself wouldn't cost as much. Ship is usually based on weight, and some weight classes require certain services that increase cost. So that's something you need to look into. But it won't cost six thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Christ, imagine if it did. It's ridiculous how expensive it is the ship stuff. Yeah, it's Canada to Canada also. Last time, like, with it being Canada to Canada, I don't need to worry about paying customs. I won't have to worry about customs, which is always nice to not worry about. I'm like, halfway to getting the boss to spawn. Don't really want vampirism or pure damage. I was thinking maybe throw my PC just in a suitcase by itself and then just like wrap it in like a towel and then have it get thrown in the cargo hold or something and then wrap another suitcase just like with monitors and do the exact same thing and then like hold on to the cords myself. The amount of damage I'm taking to a goddamn chest. Very liable to break. Yeah, that's the problem. Man. They, they, that, like, that is scary because, you know, they don't give a shit about cargo hold stuff. That's where you throw all your clothes and whatnot. You should sell your current one and buy new stuff. I am not going to do that right now. Trying to sell my PC and delete all the stuff on top of moving. That just sounds like 15 extra stress points that I don't want to deal with. Like, I, I, I get it's like a, it's definitely a good idea, but it's just... It's just such a hassle to do that <laughs> with how much I already have to do throw on top of trying to sell a PC it's like oh my god the shield might actually be better I lose some evasion but I gain more counter thought I was you hauling well, I'm gonna... We're gonna do a U-Haul. I think we're gonna do a U-Haul that, uh... It's not like a U-Haul truck. It's like one of those little boxes that they have. 
because it's a lot cheaper. But the thing about that, no matter what, if I do something like that, like a U-Haul or any moving company, it's going to get there like June 14th. So I was going to ship my PC and like two monitors out separately so I could actually stream a little bit sooner than June 14th so I can get back to work. Because can't really afford to go like three weeks without streaming. <laughs> but then you might, you might end up having to do that anyways, depending on how shipping goes. Those things have such high evade. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no, I'm reconnecting the chat. Chat died for me. Well, can't read anything anymore. Oh, this is not good. This is going to be a little rough. I think we'll live. Hopefully he gives some good loot. All right, let's plan this out. Welcome to the chat. All right, I can see the chat again. So if you posted anything naughty, congratulations. You're a horrible person. Uh, evasion counters down by five. We get eight evasion back. Defense is higher, but we lose the regen. Lose. Keep the. Uh, uh, uh. I need some damage. Keep peep poo poo. You are a horrible human. Congratulations. All right, let's keep it going. Twenty-one percent vampirism. That would bring it up to thirty-one, but then that would lower my evasion to sixteen. This gives me some regen and some health. Regen would go up to two point. Uh, let's do regen. Evasion now is... Oh, God, we have to play one of these again. That might have been a mistake. We'll see. That gets me 3% more evasion, minus one damage all. Counter even goes up more. I want counter going up because I get a little bit of health back whenever I do a counter, so. Counter going up will be good. I have seven pieces of wood, so I should probably maybe leave soon. Maybe. Oh, I should use these goddamn things more often. Anything bad here that I should get rid of? Any more goblin camps? Bandit camp running about? Not anymore. See you later, bandit camp. Right, let me throw this mountain down. Woo! We mama! We take a lot of damage. But we have some pretty good recovery, I feel like. 1.2 regen per second, 7% vampirism, 12 defense, 12 attack speed, 21 counter, 27 on evasion. What do we got? 26. That has high counter. All right. We'll get rid of the regen. Uh, 
Uh, I have another treasury up here we can start throwing stuff down. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Just get rid of the vampire houses right here. And then just put them back down. Or a cemetery on top of where one of them was. So we get some health back from the oblivion. You still have no understanding of the game? Well, I mean... I don't think it's that amazing, because earlier you said you're only here for chat, so you don't give a shit about what I'm doing. You're not paying attention to me. You only care about the chat. You said... You said... Don't D colon. Don't D colon. You said you came here only for the chat. You still... you. How do you not understand Darkest Dungeon? We've played it for 300 hours. And you said I was a liar? Did you... Are you a liar? No respect for me or kangaroo. I gotta be careful with what I say. Last time I raided somebody, they said, Yo, 1-2-Kangaroo, that's a cute username. I could feel myself lose a viewer at that very second. It is a cute name. I agree. It's a very adorable name. One, two, kangaroo. And it's a very fun name to say. One, two, kangaroo. If your name's got a rhyme, you ain't committing crime. He doesn't even like kangaroos? That's a lie. Who the hell doesn't like kangaroos? Counter that high? We lose 300 health. I don't think it's worth losing that much health. Three damage, re three regen, but we lose a decent amount of damage. Evasion goes up by three damage to all stays the same. I lose seven counter, gain nine vampirism. Counter's at 16, so the counter... Oh, counter would go to eight. And I lose defense. God, we're kind of in a pickle here. What's up, Nalid? They're terrifying? I mean, they are pretty jacked, I will say that. Kangaroos are quite muscular. They could probably beat the shit out of all of us. You wrote a book about kangaroos in fourth grade? We have a published author in this Twitch chat? A kangaroo expert? Oh, one, two, you better watch out. There's an expert on your species here. You don't trust anything that can jump higher than Ja Morant? That's... Most things I don't think can jump higher than Ja Morant. Most humans, for sure. Most humans can't even, like, go up a flight of stairs without complaining. Oh, who put these stairs here, man? Why are there stairs? Why can't... Why, why, where, where's the elevator? You wrote a chapter in a book when you did your MSC? We have two published authors here? No one who likes a person who brags. No one likes a person who complains about everything in life. I'm not saying that's you. I'm just saying, you ever hang out with somebody that just complains about everything and it's just like, oh, come on. Can't you enjoy anything ever? Me? I enjoy so many things. Have you ever seen me play Darkest Dungeon? Most things I hate. You were not published. You were a fourth grader. That's plenty. Eh, you were a published author. It's fine. Don't need to be humble. Your mom, she doesn't enjoy anything. Complaining at this very moment. I'm complaining about people that suck. I, I complain about a lot of things. I will admit, I hate a lot of things. But there's also a lot of things I like. But... Why should I bring up stuff I like when I get more... I get you all more riled up when I talk about things I don't like. It's called marketing, people. Also, HelloFresh, the people that did the sponsorship with HelloFresh, 
They apparently were trying to email me and I never got their emails for a payment. Never got them. So they were trying to pay me, they just couldn't reach me, apparently. But I, have, they, I am getting paid for that HelloFresh. And then they were like, do you want to do another HelloFresh sponsorship? And in my head, I'm like, I shouldn't. But I'm like, hey, yo, I could get a free HelloFresh meal. A couple free boxes of HelloFresh plus like some money. Hey, I'm getting paid right now as we speak. I was like, they were like, do you want to work with us again? I was like, is it HelloFresh again? Or is it like a game? And they're like, it's HelloFresh. And I'm like, oh, damn. I can't believe I didn't get paid again. It's so sad. They're not so bad. Apparently they were trying to reach me, but they never could. I never saw an email from them, so maybe it went in my spam folder. I don't really check my spam folder on my business email. To be honest with you. Evasion goes up by 8%, but I lose 7% counter. Nah, I don't think that's worth it. Counters are kind of clutch. Oh my god, you cheated on me with... Reinhard OW? Any more goblin camps we can get rid of? There's a big guy right there. See if there's any camps to get rid of. The camps are kind of scary. Because every time I use an Oblivion, I get healed. Saturn got to pick up poop today. Oh, she picked you up from work. Uh, I did they didn't have a phone number, so Oh man. You work from home. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. This one they said it was only counting, I think, Canada. So I think this time they said I would get paid for Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand orders. Which I'm like, that's like none. I, like 80% of my audience is America. Is American. So I'm like, that doesn't really make it worth it still. Because most of my audience is American. Also, you know that new feature Twitch has? I still don't got it. Twitch, where's my feature, man? Why are you hating me? Twitch, can I get that new feature to say when's the best time for me to stream? I'm curious. She worked in a janitorial shift this morning and some lady put their shit-filled underwear in the litter box that apparently exists in ladies' restrooms for them to put their lady products in. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Why the fuck would you do that? That is a pretty powerful sword, I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty powerful sword. Oh, in the litter box. I was gonna say, I don't know why they put them in a litter box. They ain't no kitties. Uh, we'll throw another prediction up of will we beat the boss? Uh, it would be the, if we make it, it'll be the first time. So if you vote yes, you're brave. You ever think about how the magic school bus could be inside of you at the very moment and you have no idea? It's like that one episode of The Boys where the guy that can go down to be a tiny little man goes inside his boyfriend's cock and then he accidentally sneezes and grows and blows him up and kills him. It's like, what if the magic school bus expanded inside of you and then you're dead? Ever think of that, Matt? Magic school bus could have killed Thanos. Yeah. I agree. I 
I have a lot of materials. Honestly, it might be smart to just run away. It's the second boss, Momo. It might be smart to just run away with all my materials. we be boss there's 51,000 points on yes for some reason when i don't even have that much health this run is not that busted i'm trying to get my evade up defense 34 evasion encounter would go down and so would damage to all but my defense would be 34 I think this is a very good game to talk to chat with because i'm kind of just chilling here you guys are all wondering what the hell is going on in this game probably but it's it's a good good engagement then i just say some off the rail shit and you guys are like what is he talking about again this is my streamer oh my god i can't believe this is my streamer I'll ask this. This can be general backseat. Can I get a fourth ability? I thought I was only going to be maxed out at three, but can I get a fourth one if I actually get up that high? This is taking a while. It's better be a good damn quest. Holy moly. Well, we have to refund the prediction because we're dead. Sorry, gamblers. I died. The prediction wasn't over, so I could have just ended it. I should have just ended it. Well, we keep 30%. Oh, I should have. Oh, God. I got an achievement. Can't get it back. Lose 100 resources. Oh, my God. At least that's all time. Still can't build the refuge because I'm cocky when I'm out there, man. I still can't build the refuge because I'm cocky. If you're watching on YouTube, let's play, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna end the video when I'm done picking my ear. Oh, ho, ho, my elbow. <laughs> <laughs>